Hey, what's up, guys? It is your boy. I'm up here today, here bringing you another video today. And today, guys, we're gonna be summoning on Dragalia Lost. Now, I've been playing this game recently. Shout out to my boy Python. He's been telling me a bunch of stuff and all that other things to help me out. The new banner just came out. Um, I'm gonna see if we can get anything good from it. Now, the rates on this is not as good as like uh, GS rates, but I will say this is that the units in Dragalia are a lot more free to play friendly in the sense that. Four stars are sometimes some of the best units in the game. So, uh, yeah, we're going to look at the units and see uh, who's all here. And I'm actually really liking this. So, this came out just recently. Literally, like, the banner just dropped, like, nine minutes ago. So, um, let me see here. So, we have Naveed, which I really like this guy. He looks kind of like... He reminds me a lot of Ezio, which, you know, he's, he's definitely not Ezio. But um, I don't know if I can, like... Because, you know, I'm a noob at this. So, I don't actually know if you can, uh, like, see his attacks and all... Or, like, see his special attack um, or his skill... Like, I don't know if I can see, like, the... Yeah, I can. Um, but he's really cool. I think he's one of the... I don't think he's the first. He's definitely not the first because uh, the main character of the game has a sword. But he, I think he's the first fire sword, five-star attacker, if that's what that's called. You know, um, I know it's, like, the sword and it's the, the uh, katana. So I don't know if the katana is actually called, like, a long sword or not. Because, that's you know, that's what it's called in, like, Monster Hunter and all that. But I don't actually know, like, the official terms in Dragalia. But still, um, I think this guy's pretty cool. I read some of his stuff and like he seems pretty cool like he doesn't seem like too broken but I think he's a great addition I think he would be pretty good on my team if I was able to pull him so on top of that as well he does have sleep resistance which I'm pretty sure in the new raid uh, which I cannot do that yet hopefully I'll be able to do at least some of it before it leaves um, I'm pretty sure the boss actually does sleep you so he'll be able to be pretty useful there also skill prep and slayer strength being able to get him 5% more strength every time he slays five enemies. That's okay. I don't really, like, know how good that is, actually. Because, like, in certain trials, like, um, I know that no enemy really spawns. Like, usually you don't, like, unless you're doing, like, quests or something like that. Like, in most trials or, like, you know, raids, it's usually just you and the boss. So, this is kind of, like, useless at times. But, hey, it's cool. I think it's a cool unit. Um, apart from that, though, that's him. And then I think we got a new dragon, too. Cerberus, is that her name? Um, yeah, Cerberus, five-star dragon. Let's see what she does. Uh, oh, that's actually pretty cool. Wait, are these, are these dogs? Oh, that's cool, because, you know, she's Cerberus, so it's like... <laughs> so instead of her actually being Cerberus, she has, like, these little, like, dog uh, glove things. It's actually kind of cool. I wonder if they're, like, actually, like, alive, though. <laughs> All right, let's see what she does. So she has, oh, my God, flame strength plus 40%. Is that... I wonder at max if she does more than Agni then, because I think Agni does 30% or is it 40% too? I know Agni goes up to a total of 60% strength, but yeah, that's actually pretty cool. I'm actually happy that she's featured because I need a, a, I'm desperately needing a fire dragon. And then of course this uh, also reduces strength and defense by 5% to the target and inflicts burn without fail. So it's a guaranteed burn. All right, cool. She seems really cool. And of course, Worm Prince, but I don't really care about that. So let's get into this. We're going to do a 10 summon. Um, just to show you guys, you know, you guys do don't play Jugalia. You know, you guys watch me for Grand Summoners. Um, you can see the rates are not like super good, but it doesn't really matter, to be honest. It doesn't matter. You know, you don't... It, it doesn't matter. I'll be happy if I can at least get... If I get Phoenix, I would actually also be really happy too. But um, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Let's see what happens. So this is a 10 free pool. Uh, they usually give one out every time a new banner comes. So that's pretty cool. This is from my jump start voucher though. Or my jump start. So it doesn't seem like we're getting a five star unless the last one becomes a five star. How many golds did we get? We got two golds. Okay, cool. Okay, that's a that's a pack stone. So that is a four star dragon. Let's hope. I'm hoping for Sir, uh, Phoenix to be honest. And oh, worm print. Yikes. Oh, I actually never saw this dragon. Unicorn? This seems pretty cool. I don't really have a light unit. I don't really have a good light unit, though, so I can't really, like, put her on anything. Um, let me just have the rest of the stuff. Um, all right, cool. Let's just skip some of these, because worm prints aren't really too exciting at all. So, right here, we got another dragon. Eldwater, I'll take that. More Eldwater? <laughs> cool. I guess I'll take it. We got some more worm prints here. And then the final one, which is a four-star worm print. Hey, it's Mikoto! Hey, lit! Hey, is that his cat that he always talks about? That's actually lit. Makoto's one of my favorite units in this game. I actually have him. And oops, that's that's from the emulator doing that. What does this do, actually? This actually may be useful. Um, sleep resistance. Hey, that is going to be useful in the uh, 
new raid if I can ever do it. So yeah, pretty cool. All right, so let's see what we can do next. Uh, we can do two more multis. So let's let's see what happens. Let's see if we can get lucky. Also, every time you don't pull a five star, your chances increase a little bit from to pull a five star. So let's see if we get lucky here. Um, I would love to. You know what I mean? Uh, okay. So how you know like a guaranteed five star animation is whenever there's like two dragons there, or like you see like a little, oh my god, there's so many golds. Good lord. Uh, Oh, that stab. I hope it's the uh, the fire girl, if that is possible. Ooh, and a pack stone. I'll take it. Um, I forgot her name, but she's a five or she's a four star healer. It's a fire unit. She's really good. Um, so hopefully I can get her if she's here. Let's see here. Dueling dancer. I already had that run print. That's nothing new. Uh, that's nothing new either. And this is okay. This isn't the girl I was talking about. Is she new? I've never seen her before. Um, I'll check her out just in a second, see what she's all about. So, Winds of the Saint, let's see. Got some more, I'm really hoping, I don't remember if like, whenever the last one drops, if uh, it turns five star, or it can turn five star whenever you get to it. Oh, we got the same one. Cool, I, I, she definitely is new, I've never seen her before. And oh lord, is this a fire dragon, a hey, juggernaut? Oh no, he's a, a dark dragon, alright cool, I don't have a dark unit though, so. I don't, I don't really have like a good dark unit, so let me see here, what does she do? Is she a healer? Or is she just a damage unit? Uh, let me see here, details. Let's see what she does. She's a support unit. Okay. Uh, custom, uh, concretion. Apply one of the following random effects to the entire team. Increase the strength, increase defense, increase crit rate, or increase max HP for the remainder of the quest. Alright, so this is just increased max HP to, by default, and then these are just random effects that can happen. Because these are all good effects, you know, I don't, I probably wouldn't complain about any of those effects if I got them, so. Also, she has Blunder Bomb, or Blunder Bomber, deals fire damage to the target and nearby enemies. Alright, cool, she, she seems okay. She seems okay. Sleep resistance as well. Alright, cool. Cool. Now, if you guys want to see, too, like, what, uh, actually, wait, let me see what this dragon does. Juggernaut, I think I've seen him before. I see people use him, but... Oh, so he increases uh, dark damage dealer's strength by 30%. Cool. If I ever get a good dark damage dealer, I'll make sure to put him on him. Um, also, if you guys want to see, like, you know, how much, uh, what is it, how much uh, the rates are going up by, since I'm not pulling a 5-star, we see right here, you see 2.5% uh, now to get a featured unit. So, yeah. Um, it just keeps going up the more and more you don't pull, so it makes it likely. It's like a system in the game that makes it more likely for you to pull a five star. So it's really good. So you, it reduces the chance of you, you know, going so deep on a banner and not getting anything. But we're gonna do one last multi because I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I really want uh, Navid. I really do. I want Navid, and then if I could get Cerberus, that would be like god tier. So let's see if we can do this one last pull on this banner. Then I'll probably be done with it depending on who I get. So come on. Please let my luck shine. Ah, oh, dang it. I think it's just gonna be another four star. Uh, okay, at least we got four gold. Let's see. We got another staff, so hopefully that could be the girl that I'm talking about. Please, the last one be a dragon or something? Oh, dragon, oh, but it didn't turn five star. All right, cool. Oh, it's the same girl again. I swear she's new. Uh, I don't know, you guys can tell me if you guys play this game, she is. Vida. Eldwater. Eldwater. Another born print right here. I don't know if these can turn five star. Like I said, I haven't played too much. Also, I'm sorry about the overlay and all that. I know the overlay probably looks like stupid, like trash, but if I do some more Jagalio videos, you know, I'll, you know, post some more. All right, cool. Tracks of Hope. Flower in the Fray. And hey, this is a fire dragon. Cool, Ifrit, yes, let's get it. I actually have something to put on my Miko uh, uh, Mikoto now. That's actually lit, because Ifrit, what do you do again? What's the passive that you have? I think it's strength, right? Yeah, you increase strength by 30%, yay. I'm actually happy I got Ifrit. That actually, you know what? This is pretty successful for me, even though I didn't get like, you know, any five star. I may try summon again if I can get some more, you know, crystals or more worm print. Let me say it's not, uh, cause so, or, no, it's not called worm print. It's, it's called, uh, what's it called? Uh, worm might, yeah. If I can get some more worm might, I may summon again. And uh, what's my rate set right now? My rates are at what? 
5.50% uh, and 2.75 so I have a pretty solid chance um, so yeah I may try like summon again if I can and try to get my boy uh, where's he at David or Cerberus so yeah I'm pretty happy with this I think it came out successful I got some new units and I got some uh, other stuff so yeah apart from that though guys hopefully y'all did enjoy this video if you guys want to see more Dragalia Lost on the channel definitely tell me in the comments below and I'll post some more videos on it. I've been having a lot of fun with this game on top of that you know I've been playing Grand Summoners a lot so whenever I'm not playing Grand Summoners I'm used to playing Dragalia so yeah guys gonna be it for the video though hopefully y'all did enjoy and I'm out guys peace